Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of BDD using Behave, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to implement data-driven testing using Scenario Outline. So let's get started. Scenario Outline is one of the keywords, okay? Is one of the Gherkin keywords that BDD Behave can understand, fine? The Behave tool can understand. So how to use this scenario outline Gherkin keyword? So the purpose of using this scenario outline is to implement the data-driven testing. So along with this scenario outline keyword, we have to use one more keyword known as examples keyword, okay? I'm going to show you how to use both of these keywords that is scenario outline and examples keyword in this feature file and all, okay? To implement the data-driven testing. So let's get started. So fine, I'll freshly create a new feature file instead of touching the existing feature file, I'm going to create one more new feature file where it will be very easy for me to implement a data-driven testing for a scenario. So I'll just uh, select this uh, new file under the features and say new file and I'll just name this uh, feature file as login.feature, okay? After that, I'll just provide the feature keyword as usual and say login feature I'll write down and here I'll say scenario, only one scenario I'll write down, scenario, I'll say login with uh, Valid credentials, scenario, credentials, okay? After that, right given, I am on the home page. When I'm on the home page, when I enter, sorry, uh, given here, instead of home page, I'll say given I am, given I got navigated to, otherwise given, I got navigate to which page login page when I got navigated to login page when I enter username as some username I'll say and password as some password into the fields like this one step I'll write down okay so here I'm already parameterizing this, right? I'm passing the username and password here. So what is the username and what is the password you want to pass? You can parameterize, for example, uh, in the previous session, I explained about here, you have to provide a username. That is, uh, I'll just give that as a motori one at the rate uh, gmail.com. I think that is second one or something, some password, okay, like this, okay? Whatever it is, you can give some email and password here, okay? So you are, you already are parameterizing this uh, scenario by passing some arguments and all. I'll just uh, make it like this. So I enter username as and password as uh, into the fields and uh, I click on login button. Then I should get login. So this is one of the scenario which is parameterized. Okay, we are passing the arguments. Now let's create the step definitions and all. For that, uh, let's run this feature file. So go to the terminal and uh, run run them so that uh, here also there's one more thing under the steps you create login.py, okay? Login.python uh, file. And here we have to implement that. We are going to implement anyhow. Now let's run this terminal and say CLS, simply say behave features. All the feature files under this uh, features package will be running now. And since there we have not implemented any of these steps, some auto-generated code will be coming, okay? So that we are going to copy paste into our scripts. Let's wait. So second test is running in the search. The search feature file, two tests are running. Now the test in the login.feature file, the scenario in the login.feature file should run now. It's running now. But here, since we have not implemented any of the steps of this login uh, feature file scenario, it will it need to generate some code. Uh, you see, some code has been generated, right? For all the steps that are not implemented, some code has generated for this particular steps. Copy that code, copy this code, control C, and uh, now go to the login dot uh, step definition file and paste it there, and here, One minute. Here I just uh, I'll write down from behave Im import 
from behave import hash tick. All this will be imported. All this given when then and all those things will be imported. Now here we have to implement the steps and all. So I'll say print. Here I'll say inside open. I got navigated to login page. Okay. Then here I'll write down print inside. I enter username here. I'm parameterizing, right? These values are coming here instead of uh, taking this hard coded values, you'll put something like this and write down curly braces and say email. Okay, that, that will be parameterized here also. Put curly braces inside this uh, double quotes and write down password. Okay, we are getting the email and password from this step. You see, from here we are passing email and password that will come here. That will come to this email and password, and uh, that email and password we have to use. Okay, we have to create the match parameters here. Password, and uh, here I'll say I enter username as plus uh, plus email and password as plus password into the fields. Like this, you can modify that. And here, you can replace this with print statement saying just for checking whether these methods are getting executed or not. Inside, I click on login button. Then last one, print inside. I should get logged in. Okay, done. We have implemented all the things, and let's see whether the parameterization is completed. After the parameterization is completed, I'll convert this uh, into a data driven test. Okay, so for now, just parameterization is going on. In the next step, uh, we'll go for data driven thing. We have features. Let's run this. First one in the search completed. The second one in the search will be completed. And third one also should be completed. Okay. So second one is now running. In from the search, search feature file, the second scenario got run. Now the first uh, scenario from the login feature file is now running and it should run. So let's wait for it to be completed. Is it completed? It print something here. It has not printed. Yeah, it has no printed. Uh, where is that? 12 steps got executed. Let's see where it got executed, whatever we gave, where it's got. You see, login with valid credentials got executed. I got navigated to login page. I enter the username as this one and this one. And where are the print statements got printed for that? I don't see that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, here it is. Here, I got navigated to login page inside. You see, this is what is a print statement. Inside, I enter username as you got the, whatever the email you pass it from the step, right? That is coming and printing here. And password as whatever the password you pass it from the set that is coming and printing here. We have successfully parameterized this. Okay, this proves that we have successfully parameterized this. Now I'll convert this uh, scenario into data driven test. Okay, so instead of scenario, you have to write scenario outline. The first step is you have to convert the scenario to scenario outline. So, what is the problem? Let's see. So, when I write scenario outline, it's giving me the error because is asking me to create example section. Okay, this cannot be single. You see, I already mentioned, right? Along with the scenario outline, we have to use one more keyword known as examples. Without that, you will get this error. At the end, you have to write the examples. Okay, here you have to mention examples. Now you see the error is gone. Now under the examples, okay, so I'll convert this uh, two arguments into data driven thing. So I'll provide this, you know, kind of stuff. And uh, I'll say this is email. Instead of providing the data here, I'll just mention email. And this one, instead of providing the real data, I'll, I'll provide this less than greater than symbol and say password. And now I have to password this, uh, pa pass this email and password. To convert this uh, into a data driven test, we have to pa pass multiple sets of data. So email and password should be passed multiple times. So here I'll create some pipe symbols in the first pipe. Between the pipe symbols, I'll copy paste the exact thing email. And second one, I'll copy paste the exact thing that is password. Now press enter and uh, tap and uh, here under the email, you write down 
emutauri1 at the rate gmail.com is an email. Just press tab here just to organize. You pipe and here give the password. That is a second one is a password. And here give. Now, similarly, you can pass a multiple sets of data. Here, only one set of data to convert this into data driven testing. Now, data driven test with the help of scenario outline and examples, we have to pass multiple sets of data to this email and password. So, this one will go into the email and this one will go into the password when it runs. Okay. Only one set of data means this uh, scenario will run only one time. Now, I would like to pass multiple sets of data. Notary to at the rate uh, gmail.com. And as a second to then three at the rate gmail.com then second three let's organize it well so that uh, it looks good fine we have created that now this will go into the email and this will go into the password this section these things will go into the password now let's run this and see whether this particular scenario is running three times or not, okay? Because we provided three sets of data means the scenario outline should run how many times? Three times, okay? That's the thing, that's the thing that need to be happened, that should happen. So what we can do here is, uh, let's run this this time. Instead of three scenarios, it should be five scenarios because two plus three, one scenario is running three times, same scenario is running three times because of three sets of data. Total five scenarios should come here. Along with the search, we should get five scenarios. Total five times, five scenarios should run. First time it is running, then second scenario. Second one is running now. In the upcoming sessions, I'll implement the real Selenium code, but for now, this is just a sample. We are just opening and closing the browser for every scenario. And the hooks in the one of the previous session were hooks, right? Then I implemented this opening and closing of the browser. Okay. You see, a motor is three, a motor is two, a motor is one. Okay. Three times a uh, test got run already. Okay. The data driven testing got succeeded already. So a motor e one got executed, a motor e two got executed here, a motor e three got executed. That means same test got executed, login test got executed three times. So it's done. Now five scenarios got executed. Okay, one test got executed three times, so that's why it got five. Okay, in the in the search we have two scenarios. In the search we have two scenarios. This got executed one one time. Whereas in this, only one scenario is there which got executed three times because we have three sets of data. This is how we can achieve the data driven testing in BDD behave as part of Selenium Python. Okay, by using uh, keywords like scenario outline and examples after parameterizing that particular scenario that is possible. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.